this video we are going to understand the generation of a random numbers and the range function so let's start with the range so when you write a range when you write a range when you get this kind of an error just terminate everything okay we are working on google collab and if you have multiple things running up uh, it is asked you to terminate that so what is the meaning of range so when you write range in the bracket n okay this is going to create the value from 0 to n minus 1 okay so when you run this it is going to give you the 0 to 6 now it is not making any sense or meaning to you so what you can write you can just write down a list over here so you can check out the values which are coming up which i have told you uh, 0 to n minus 1 that means it is going to create the value from 0 to 5 so let's see whether it is creating the value from 0 to 5 or not yes 0 to 5 or when you write down the range like this range in the bracket range in a bracket a comma n so when you write range, range a comma n it is going to give you the value from it's going to give you the value from a to n minus 1 a to n minus 1 that means this is going to give you a value from 1 to 5 so let's check out okay so the answer is very weird so you can just write down list over here okay and when you write list over here it is going to give you the value between 1 to 5 okay very very much crystal clear to us you can write down the range list like this 5 0 to 4 you can even convert that range 5 into tuple or you can convert into set also now suppose if i write 1 comma uh, 5 and the third value of that so this is going to create the value between this is going to create the value between 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and this value has been created by the range function first 1 to 5 and inside that the third value i want so the zero is basically considered on the location zero itself the one is considered to be on the location one itself okay so zero is considered to be a zero one is considered to be as on one location and so on so you can check out uh, i want to check the third value of that and that is coming to be as four okay uh, as it is starting from one not zero it's starting from one so though so one is basically one is basically on zero location one is on basically on zero location two is basically on one location and so on so three is basically on third look uh, sorry four is basically on third location or index okay great so now the reverse indexing is also possible when you have the uh, number like this so i take this one to four and the four is considered to be as at minus one the three is considered to be as minus two the three is also considered next three sorry two is considered to be as minus one and so on so when you want to check what is minus one location it is going to say two okay now this is going to create the value from zero to nine and we are going to skip one value by one value so when you write a uh, comma two one one value will be uh, skip and when you want to check this out you just write down list over here so that is going to give you the answer in the correct format so 0 1 2 3 up to 8 now suppose you want to reverse the value so this is going to give you a very weird answer you cannot able to make out the meaning of that but what is the meaning of range 6 range 6 is 0 to 0 to 5 and when you write colon colon minus 1 it is going to reverse that okay so this has been represented from 5 to 0 not 0 to 5 because we have written colon colon minus 
we have written basically coulomb coulomb minus one. Now coming to the random function. So when you write a uh, random, so import random, you can do a rand integer method. Okay. So when you do a rand integer method, it is going to give you a random integer number between uh, 100 to 500. Okay, but every time you run, you will going to get a random numbers. Even you can get a random fractional number also like this. Every time you run, you get a random fractional numbers. Similarly, you can get a random range number also like two to four, it is going to give you two to three. So every time either you get a two or three, you can get a random Gaussian number also between two to three, random Gaussian number. Okay, suppose you have a number like this and you just want to shuffle this number that is also possible. In the random that shuffling is also possible. So every time you shuffle, you will going to get a different shuffling method. You have a lot of values and you want to uh, choose a random choice that is also possible. So the game Ludo can be designed this way, random. So you can put one to six and every time you just press a button, a random number will be chosen. Suppose you have the value like this, and I just want to take, I just want to take the value, five different random values from this, five different random values. Okay, that is also possible to take using k equal to five. So this is basically called sampling. So here the repeated value may come. Sampling does not uh, say that the value will be unique. Okay. So random samples from this number will be selected, five random numbers. It may be repeated also. The 60 here is repeated, you can check out. So I hope the range function and the random generation number is very much clear to you.